Hey guys, welcome back. So got a swatch review and mini tutorial video for y'all today on this palette. This is the Magic by Juvia's. So this is what it looks like. So we're gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We will talk about the pricing. We'll look at packaging. We'll look at some swatches. I will show you some comparison swatches as well to some of the other Juvia's Place palettes that I own. And then also I will show you how I got this makeup look. So let's get into it. So the price of this palette is $35 and you get a net weight of 57.6 grams or 2.03 ounces this is what the outside box looks like. Really pretty and bright, really, really beautiful. This is what the actual palette looks like. It's the same size as the larger version of the Masquerade palette. So you can see they are the same size. So it's a pretty big palette. Let me read about it and then I'll show you the inside of it. It says, the magic palette was inspired by the moon and sun goddesses of the wilds. A beautiful fusion of cool and warm tones, vibrantly infused with 16 ultra pressed pigments, perfect for day to night time looks. And it says opposites attract. So really cute. And then as far as what this palette looks like on the inside, you really do have a great collection of just like different sort of colors. Like there are cool tones, there are warm tones, um, and it's just a colorful palette. There are some neutrals to kind of help ground it, but not a lot, like really just kind of right here, that one. Other than that, it's pretty colorful. So you gotta like some colorful shadows to like this palette, but it's so pretty. It doesn't have a mirror in it, it just has the little um, beautiful image there. So. Yeah, let's get into some swatches. Okay, so these are the top two rows of the palette. So we're gonna start right here. This is the top left side of the palette. This is Nubia. This one is Zakia. That one is a matte. This one is Osun. This one is Kessi, another matte. Down here, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful shadow. I cannot wait to wear that one. That is Zuba. This one is Nana another matte. This is Boronu. This one is Koji. Koji. So those are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Zuba. Cannot wait to wear that one. That looks amazing. Bottom two rows of the palette. This one is Faso, a really pretty duochrome. This one is Aja. It almost looks like it would be kind of a satin matte in the pan. But when you swatch it, it's really more metallic, but it's kind of a little bit more subtle metallic than some of the others. So kind of in between a satin and a metallic, but more towards a metallic, but a more subtle metallic. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, on to the next one. This one is Vi. That one's really pretty. This one is Yamoja. That's a gorgeous kind of silvery blue. This one right here is Ife. It's a matte. This one is Yara, a gorgeous duochrome. This one is Buzo, bright and fun. I like that one a lot. And yen, and then this one, and yen, and yen, and then this one is Yajide. Yajide. I always keep wanting to say that one as Yadij, but it's I'm flipping the letters around. It's Yajide, I think. So there are the bottom two rows. Now I wanna show you some comparisons of some slightly similar shades. Like some of these are pretty close. Not exact exact, but fairly close. So right here, this one is Zakia from the Magic Palette. This one right here is Morocco from the Nubian 2. And then this one right here is Jamila from the Saharan. So those two are the most similar. They're really close. Um, so just know that you're getting possibly kind of like almost a repeat, but a really great transition color, like good for blending and things like that. So I don't mind it at all. This one right here is Nubia from the Magic Palette. This one is Wadabe from the Saharan, one of my favorite ones. Um, this one, Wadabe, is just a little bit more of like an old gold, like dirty um, green undertone to it. So that's kind of what makes it different. There you can kind of see the duochrome part to it, but both are beautiful. This one right here is Barona from, Baronu from the Magic Palette. And then this one right here is Senegal from the Saharan. So again, fairly close, but not exact on that one. 
So there are some comparisons. I looked at the Masquerade palette and I really couldn't find any very like similar shades because the Magic is just a little bit more um, like light and pastel, whereas the Masquerade is kind of more almost like jewel tones, deeper bright colors. So really didn't find a lot of similar shades between the two of those. Then as far as texture, blendability, and performance, and just formula on these shadows, I think it's a really nice formula, particularly the metallics. The mattes are a little bit on the dry side, um, but they still blend well and they still perform well. So while I wouldn't say that they're the best matte shadows that I ever use, they're definitely not in my opinion for me personally. Um, I still think they're really good matte shadows. I really feel like the standouts and like the stars of this palette show are the metallics. Those are just so gorgeous, vibrant, just make really, really beautiful eye looks. So they blend well, they wear well, and I really do like the formula of these shadows. I think it's very, very nice. So overall, impressions and review on this palette. I'm really, really liking it. I'm really glad I bought it. They did up the price a little bit, at least from when I bought my Masquerade palette. I think I paid maybe around like $28 for my Masquerade. So I would have been even more excited about it if it were around $28, but I still think 35 is a great price for it. And it's just a beautiful palette. I'm really excited about it. My Saharan is still my number one, my favorite of my Juvia's Place palettes that I own. But this one is another one that I really love and I'm glad that I have it in my collection. So that's my overall review. So if you wanna see how I did this eye look and I also threw in the cheeks and the lips, then, you know, stay tuned. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I've already applied some eye primer, so now I'm gonna get some of Nana on this brush. This is my Cosette D220 brush. And I'm gonna apply that into my crease and transition area. Pardon my voice, I have some sinusy. Well, I don't have sinusy. I did my little sinus cleanse thing this morning. Can I do that? I think not a neti pot, but the other kind? Anywho, that's why I sound like that. I'm sure y'all were wanting to know that story. <laughs> now I'm gonna take just a flat brush and I'm gonna get some of Baronu, Baronu, and I'm gonna pack that all over my lid. This is a really pretty color for like just an everyday neutral look. I think these two together make a really beautiful combination, but we're gonna add more to this, but this is what we're doing initially. This one's almost like a light bronzy color that has kind of like an orangey duochrome to it. It's really, really beautiful. One of my favorite shadows in the palette, for sure. Now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Detailer brush and I'm gonna get some of Yamoja, Yamoja. And it's kind of like this silvery blue color. It's really pretty. I'm gonna put some of that on just the inner corner of my eye. I did this yesterday, kind of this look, but I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And I really liked how it looked. It's just like a way of playing with color, but not being like too crazy bold, just kind of like subtle. Now I'm gonna take a small crease brush. This one is from CVS. And I'm gonna get some of Ife, Ife would be my guess of how to pronounce that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my outer corner. I used um, a different color from a different palette yesterday when I did a similar look to this, but I really wanted to just stick with using just this palette. And I'm using the tiniest little bit because I just want to deepen it up, but I don't necessarily want to like change the color a ton. And I'm going back in with a little bit of Baronu, just kind of bringing back that color a little bit, very lightly. Going back in with this color, just kind of go back in with each of the colors and just kind of like meld everything together because I don't want it to look like a like a step ladder of colors, but I want you to be able to see them all. So just doing a little bit of tweaking. Now for my brow bone, I'm going to get some of Kessie and just a no name brush and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. For my brow bone, I'm going to apply it to my brow bone. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to get some of this color right here. This is Vi. And I'm using a Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer brush. And I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. 
Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero and my Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. Let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to use on my cheeks and lips. So I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to get some of Yara and Tao. I'm going to get a little combination of those. I'm using a Delium Tools 968 brush. I'm literally just like tapping in here because these are really pigmented. I mean, look, that was too much. But they blend well, so it's not a problem. But let me be an example to you. A little bit goes a long way. <laughs> then I'm going to get some of Zoba and use that as my highlighter. I'm using a Delium Tools 787 brush. For lips, I'm going to go real easy. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Warm Me Up. guys so that wraps up this video so hope that you really enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful for you please do a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you were thinking about this palette if you tried it out what is your experience with it or if you've just looked up swatches online what are you thinking about it so far i would love to know your thoughts and opinions ask me any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye